Good morning, my awesome friends and followers of the channel. Thank you very much for your continued support and not forgetting my members, the 200 Club. Thank you for your continued support as we keep moving forward on the road of transparency and integrity. Yes, that's where we're going. Yes, and I did do a little bit last night, just laughing and laughing and laughing, because I am, I'm elated, I'm happier. I'm happier than I have been, but I'm not happy. You know, I have had my life put in turmoil. I did post some things this morning on my community page just to let people know um, what's going on. Um, and I will point this out to you. Um, I've had to cancel today's live stream at 1pm with HG Tutor um, because uh, things have... We have postponed it and it will happen at a later date when we both sit down and, 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 and chat about what, what what's the best age it suits. Yeah, I spoke to my solicitor last night and um, yeah, our case is watertight. An individual who has been posting heinous things about me for such a long time has been caught. And I'm telling you now, I'm suing you. I'm suing you. I know you're watching us this morning. I'm suing you. I'm going to make your life hell. But through a legal way. Legally. Using solicitors and court. And you are going to jail. And I'm sure you probably know that. Maybe that's why you were crying. Anyway, um, but you do hold the key to a few other people. Um, anyone that sent heinous messages to you or from you, direct messages, you know for a fact that that's now being looked at. And uh, we're going to get other people's identities, aren't we? Yeah. Depending how much you cooperate with the authorities, depending how much you cooperate with the authorities, if you give them everything, then I may let you keep a roof over your head. It just depends. That may be the court, the court because you are going to cover my court costs. Just pointing that out. Right, so what else is happening this morning? Liam Payne, one of the quarter of One Direction, has died at the age of 31. He's fallen from his third floor balcony in Buenos Aires in Argentina. Quite sad. He was actually a new dad as well. That is sad, isn't it? You know, one day you're going along with no car in the world, doing exactly whatever you want. And the next day, the rugs whip from below you. And then you realise, life's too short. Yes. Yeah. I'd like to point out as well, for all of you out there, uh, if you are being trolled online, get in touch with me. I am helping, uh, two different police forces it was at one start, I'm helping with this new Online Safety Act. Did you know about that? Online Safety Act. Um, where we are going to lower the threshold. So basically, you're allowed to call someone an a-hole. You're allowed to do certain things online. You're allowed to. But this is obsessive and someone is actually distressing you. Not one post, not two posts. Say it's 15, 20 or more. And they are trying to destroy your credibility and it's affecting your work. Then you can access a thing called a charter. You can put together all your, put together chronically in order, all your um, hate stuff that you're getting online. And if you present that correctly to a police force, they can apply for a charter uh, to CPS back to the social media platform, which gives police access to people's accounts to check their IP address to put in a charge for malicious communications. There we go. Yeah. So thanks to all my online stalking from people, I've now found a way to stop it. There we go. Anyway, what else is happening? Well, thanks to Netflix, the Menendez brothers uh, are going to have their case reopened and they could be freed. They've done over 30 years in jail, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I watched it. I don't know the ins and outs of it. Uh, I do believe they were abused as kids and that's why they snapped when they got older. I mean, you never endorse that type of behaviour, uh, either side, by parents or children. But, uh, you know, sometimes people, sometimes in order to stop people, you've got to be catastrophic to stop people. Yes, you've got to be catastrophic. You've got to go... You've got to nail them down. You've got to make sure that you that you go at them with such force that they never that it's for her. First of all, if you go at them with such force, people will then think twice about doing the same type of stuff. Anyway, there we go. Talk about the Menendez brothers. There we go. Yeah. Uh 
Hospitality chiefs are saying something this morning. Hospitality chiefs, hospitality chiefs are people that own restaurants and different things. Well, guess what? They're saying because of the tax hikes, because of the tax hikes, you could be, you could be getting charged now up to £25 in places for fish and chips. I'm going to be honest with you. Now, we all know where the fish comes from. We know how chips are made. We know how cheap potatoes are. I mean, if you start to charge that, I'm telling you now, your business is going in the gutter. I'm telling you now, certain restaurants we go into, already prices are like that. I mean, but if you're going, if that's going to be the norm for everyone to charge £25 for fish and chips, um, I'm going to be honest with you, in my opinion, uh, your business deserves to fail if you're going to take the piss out of the public. Because what happened was this, and I remember this, there was a restaurant I used to go to um, before the, the P, before the lockdown, I went to a restaurant and um, I had fish and chips and a pint. And I think it came to about 13, 14, no, right about 15 quid for a plate. Two of us with drinks came to about I don't know, 40 quid. After the lockdown, I went back to the same place and ordered the same food and the price was 55 pounds. And I haven't been back since. Because you know what? The lockdown wasn't our fault. Why are we getting punished? It's shocking. And I won't go back. I won't go to restaurants that, that charge those prices. Unless if I'm taking someone out for a meal, uh, there's certain restaurants I don't mind paying 70, 80 pound a meal. I'm just saying. But if I'm nipping into some sort of pub eatery for lunch and they're charging me over 45 quid for two fish and chips, I'm telling you now, um, I'll never be back. I'll be like that. Shocking. It's just shocking. Anyway, um, you'll see prices on the list, clearly. You're not going to buy. If you get the food first and eat it and then complain, then you're an a-hole. Pay, pay them. You should go in and sit down. If you're not happy with the prices, leave. That's it. And uh, they'll soon learn not to charge that price. You know what I mean? Uh, Rachel Reeves. Wow. Um, Rachel Reeves, the Chancellor, wants to increase taxes, she needs 40 billion. And I'm saying, no, you don't stop being greedy. Stop it. I mean, even the prime minister has refused to go f in front of the ethics board about him giving a police escort to Taylor Swift in return for hospitality from Taylor Swift. He's refusing to put himself, I mean, what, what a shitty, shitty prime minister we have that won't even hold himself accountable, but he'll hold everyone else accountable. These MPs are just thieves, aren't they? Shocking behaviour. Do you know what the worst thing that ever happened was? Expenses. It started off with fuel to get to and from work, and then it branched out to lunch, and then it branched out to accommodation, and now it's branched out to pens and socks and shoes and suits and hats and haircuts, and it's just, it's gone too far. We need to, expenses need to go back to where it started. Fuel to and from work, that's it. It's, it the rest of it's nonsense. It is nonsense. Wow, just shocking, isn't it? Uh, and I did mention here, um, thanks to me, there is new social media laws coming in on all platforms. All platforms must adhere to individual countries Malicious Communications Act. So I have to thank my stalkers for helping me put this together and working with um, Sussex, the Met, Northern Ireland Police Service, Suffolk, and Gloucester. Uh, well, anyway, listen, I've got a shoot on. Uh, thank you to all of you that are helping me, by the way, because it is we are on the we are on the run up to Christmas, whether you like it or not. And there's over a million books to do with military books on Amazon. And I'm thanks to you for helping me because this book is number, f we're in the top 500 bestsellers again. We're in the top 500 bestsellers on Amazon. So thank you to everyone who is continuing to buy this for Christmas presents. I do appreciate it. You know what? Um, I'd love to get in the top 10. I, I can't see it. But you know what? Um, I just thank you for all the love. And keeping it going, it's it's amazing. Uh, that book's doing it, it's 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 not doing as good as that one, but you know what? We can't have it all. Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you. In the very near future, an individual will appear in court. 
Once he appears in court, I will be able to tell you exactly who that individual is. And then my work, my work in highlighting his horrendous behaviour will begin because I have an interview lined up with three mainstream media news outlets where I am going to put out everything this individual's done. And then the tide has turned, hasn't it? Thank you. Listen, have a wonderful day, people, and stay safe.